The collection log. It paves the way for my account progress as I work on one task at a time, randomly generated by my spreadsheet. Now that we're in the hard tier, it's time to kick it up a notch with some of the hardest grinds we'll ever have to face. This is Generate Task Season 3. In the previous episode of Generate Task, we trained runecrafting for the first time in a while to prepare for the Karamja Hard Diary that we completed shortly afterwards as the first diary in the hard tier. We then began one of the hardest but most rewarding grinds so far where we obtained the Dragon Warhammer from the Lizardman Shamans. Now it is time to go for the first two monkey backpack transformations. In total there are six divided into three hard tasks. For these first two we'll have to complete 250 laps around the Apatol agility course, but first we'll have to complete two quests in order to unlock this. We'll have to do Watchtower first and then it's time for the big one, Monkey Madness 2. Sit back, relax, subscribe and enjoy the episode. Right, so... Monkey Madness 2. We're gonna do Watchtower first, which also means that we're finally gonna be able to get rid of this black prism and all these other random items. Well, not the Seal of Passage, but these three. I've had these in the bank for ages, ever since I started Watchtower to get in there for a hard clue. And we can finally use them to complete the quest, so that's gonna be amazing. After that, we're also gonna unlock the Balloon Method to uh, Gnome Stronghold, the route right there, and then we can do Monkey Madness 2. So that's the plan, we're gonna start with Watchtower, get that one done first, finally complete that quest, and we can move on to the next thing. All right, we have all of the crystals, so now we can just light up the place, turn this into a disco party, and we're done with Watchtower. And that's gonna be it right there, boom. Watchtower quest completed, finally. We, we had it yellow for ages in the, in the quest thing. <laughs> 15,000 magic XP, 5,000 coins, and finally, the Watchtower teleport spell that we can unlock by reading the scroll. Now let's go unlock that um, that balloon route, and then we can do Monkey Madness 2. Alright, let's unlock the Grand Tree 2, and just like that, we are done with that route. We've unlocked it, and that means that if we check the Monkey Madness 2 quest journal, we have all of the requirements needed. It's time to start! Monkey Madness 2. Well, here here we go. How does this work? Agility route is over there, right? I go to the east here, I think. And hope everything goes well, so... Um, let's send it, I guess. Oh. Or maybe not. Ah, shit! Okay. <laughs> We're good. So we have to go this way, because this way said something about this route feels wrong. I think I made it, right? If I investigate the wall, that's the shortcut? Literally only fell twice at the start made every single decision perfectly i'm just too good at this game look at this i didn't even use anything to get here let's kill crook crook is going was that a 32 that he hit me holy shit okay back to back 32 relax dude boom there it is crook is down so now we can become bigger or smaller or bigger or smaller or bigger okay <laughs> let's go this is where the fun begins, but we're gonna cross him here. Boom, just like that. Break his ankles. Use one satchel right here. That is one out of six. Number two has been placed. Third satchel, we're halfway there. All right, we got the gas cylinder. That one is done as well. Hey, so far so good, guys. Literally haven't been caught a single time. <laughs> Fuck. See, I knew I jinxed. Ah, uh, no. The last one, man. Well, let's go fill this one satchel then. There we go. That should be enough. Now I just have to get back to the boat. Oh god, here we go. We're going on a journey with Neve for what might be the last time. Okay, there we go. We got all the small ones. Now we need to actually defeat Glov himself. <laughs> awesome. I'm gonna quickly bang though before doing that. No, Neve! <sighs> there she goes. The Ellie Spirit Shield on the floor. You hate to see it. We take those. Easy peasy. Look, it still pulls me. Man, who am I kidding? Let me just DPS him down. I mean, I'm fucking 96 range. I have a full inventory of supplies. I'm just gonna shoot his ass, okay? There he goes. There he goes! Ladies and gentlemen, Glove has been defeated. We are about to complete Monkey Madness 2. Just like that. And that right there... Is the quest completed? The only quest that was required for our current task, essentially. 
Because this means we can finally go to the Apatol Agility course and start racking up those laps to unlock all of the backpacks. There it is, Monkey Madness 2. Four quest points, 239 in total. We have so many quest points already on the account. I love it. A lot of XP as well. Do we get any levels from that? I'm not too sure, but we can also still get some training. And we get a Royal Seed Pot. No levels from that, but we can teleport here now, which is pretty cool. And how did I think of it? Did I ever get the training from Dragon Slayer 2? I'm not sure. Oh, we're very close to an agility level. We're 1.7k away now from 77. Right, let's go pick up that uh, that monkey backpack, which we'll need to unlock the transformations as well. And then we might just go and get that uh, training done real quick, get some extra XP from that, and then we'll start running some Apatol agility course laps. Come here, little fella. Join the gang. There he is. Oh, look at that little cutie. Look at him. I love this guy already, but we're going to find some more friends that can join him. So uh, let's start doing that very soon. Aha. Uh -huh. Interested in ho honing your skills. So it looks like I never got this training either from Dragon Slayer 2. And I'll probably just throw this in magic because everything else is 90 plus. So I might as well just use it on magic. 25,000 XP. Twice? Okay. Three times? Okay. Four times? Okay. Beautiful, 100k magic XP right there. 16k away from 89. That's not too bad. Now let's also go back to Apatol and get some more training right there. How cool is the Krug Grigri though? Look at us go with our weapons. Just like that, 50,000 XP in magic once again. That's gonna put us straight to 89. This takes ages, there we go. And we can get some more again. Once again, another 50,000 XP, nice. 89 magic, looking good. Well, just like that, 200,000 free magic XP. But now it's time for some agility XP. Like I said, very close to 77, so we're gonna get that straight away. But we're gonna spend about three hours, I think, on the Apatol agility course, get 250 laps done, and unlock two new transformations for this little fellow right here. And there we go, that's the first level coming in, the quick one, 77 agility. It's also gonna be the only level, because... Uh, actually, 153k, that might be close. I think we'll get very close to 78 agility on this grind. But that is 3 laps so far out of 250. Alright, the first milestone coming in here. 100 laps, which means we can now transform our monkey into a Karamjan monkey. Okay, let me see what that looks like. I want to see this little fella. So this is the normal one, the normal monkey backpack. Now, if we transform it to the Karamjan monkey... Hey, look at that little fella. He's got the little red thing on his head. Is that his hair or is that a head? I, I assume it's hair, right? Hey, Dad has the same one right there. Looking nice. All right, 150 laps to go until we're done here. The final click on the tropical tree for this task. It's going to be lap number 250 completed. Whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. Epic action shot. Boom, just like that. We can now transform our monkey into a zombie monkey. Look at that guy. There he is. Just chilling there. You know what time it is. You know what this means. It's time for a new task. We might have to stay here, so I'm not gonna teleport out just yet. But we'll find out right now. After just about a day since we got this task, we completed two quests. We completed some laps on the agility course. We can now complete the first two monkey backpack transformations, just like that. And that's gonna put us at 14% hard, because last time we didn't get a percentage. Now, do we get the back-to-back? -back? Do we have to do more laps or do we get to do something else? Here we go. What do we get? Oh my god. I'm so bad at PVM. I have only done one kill <laughs> on every God Wars dungeon boss in my life on my main account for the diary. And now I have to get a unique from Zamorak, from Krill Tsetseroth. <laughs> oh boy. That's gonna be a struggle and a half, I think. That being said, I do have a Dragon Warhammer that will help me a little bit, I think. I have an Arc Light. I have some decent gear, I think. So I feel like I'll be able to do this. It's just gonna be a matter of learning the mechanics and whatnot. But it should be a fun one and we might get something really good from this. So I'm kind of looking forward to it. It's gonna be an interesting one, that's for sure. So, a unique from Zemarek God Wars Dungeon. That means we'll have to battle it out with Krill Tzatzeroth. For this task, there's four items that count towards completing it. Two of them have a 1 in 127 drop rate, being the Steam Battlestaff and the Zamorakian Spear. 
And the other two are sitting at 1 in 508, which are the Staff of the Dead and the Zemurek Hilt. There's also the three Godsword shards that we could get, which are a 1 in 762, and of course the pet, which is 1 in 5000. We do also have a chance to get the spear from the minions, but that's a 1 in 5376, so I don't expect that to happen. Let's just give this a go, okay? We use whatever food we have in the bank right now. I'll have to figure out a way to get better food after this trip because I don't have anything left. <laughs> but we'll see. We're gonna teleport to Trollheim. We're gonna drop two food. We're gonna teleport back. And then teleport back once again. Off we go. I don't know if I'm ready for this. <laughs> Look how big he is. He's so big. And I'm just puny little human standing at the door with a hammer. But I guess we'll just send it. I probably should use accurate for this, right? Okay. There's no <laughs> Nah Nah <laughs> There's no fucking one <laughs> I can't believe this shit I cannot believe this fucking shit Nah What? What? 1k C hilt? Nah, there's no way. There's just no... Okay, I don't have to worry about getting food anymore. I think we're good to go. So anyways, there's the first unique from Zemurek God Wars Dungeon. We got the Zemurek hilt at 1k C worth 4,287,908 coins. Nice little addition to the collection log right there. Obviously, we don't have any Godsword shards yet, so we're not close to the Godsword yet. But I guess it's a cool item to have to add to the collection and that means we can move on <laughs> to the next task. Just, <laughs> just like that. Uh, well, that was fun. Well, it's just that easy. Just get it. Just get it. Here we are again after just 35 minutes of generating our first God Wars dungeon task. It, <laughs> it took us only half an hour to come back here. Because we got the, the Zamorak Hild on the very first kill. <laughs> Let's complete that one real quick. 15%. Now there's still, there is still one more Zemurek God Wars dungeon task in the heart here. So we can get the back to back. Let's just not wait any longer. Let's just get the new task. Fuck it. Here we go. Okay. Wilderness Heart Diary. I don't know what this entails. I don't know what the requirements are. I don't know what the reward is for this one. But you know, I'm okay with that. Another pretty chill task, I would say, compared to the previous one. Um, even though the previous one was pretty short, <laughs> but uh, anyways, let's get right to it. Let's do it. A hard diary number two. All right, this one last inventory should do the trick. Uh, this means that we have about 5.9k gold ore in the bank, and that's going to be enough to get us from 70 to 70 for smithing. I can then use a dwarven stout to boost plus one, because that's literally the only requirement we still need for the wilderness hard diary is the 75 smithing to smith an adamant scimitar. Everything else is fairly easy. So um, yeah, once we have the smithing level, we'll be able to complete all the tasks fairly quickly. And we'll be able to move on to the next task again. So four smithing levels coming up with the gold ore. Let's get it. Here we go, the very last golden bars to retrieve from the dispenser. And that is 74 smithing. So we can now boost plus one to get to 75, which means we can make the adamant scimitar that we need. How many gold bars do we have in total now? 17.5 thousand. Not that we'll ever use those, I think, but... Nice to have, I guess. But anyways, we can go and complete some diary tasks now and work on that full diary. Let's go. Let's get started with some tasks here. First off, we're gonna cast a spell on Musto. Get over here. Attack me. There we go. First task done. Let us quickly charge an air orb, something we haven't done on this account yet. Oh, looks like we're joined by three level 47, 48 accounts. They're just chilling here. Let's go and smith the adamant scimitar in the resource area. Boost, go, adamant scimitar. There we go, nice. 
Give me a raw lava eel, please. Great day for fishing, yeah. Lovely day out. Weather's nice. Why is this taking so long? I'm 80 fishing. There we go. We got it. Now all that's left for us to do is kill some stuff. Let's go and spoon the, the 1kc Scorpia pet real quick. That would be nice. That is, uh, that is Scorpia down. Unfortunately, we only got a, a shark, but that's okay. I mean, it's been a while since we've since we've been here, but this is giving me some some PTSD. The bloody archaeologist. We've spent way too much time here as a hardcore Iron Man. Let's see if we get another reward after killing this one guy. Another shard? Nope. Some uncut gems. Look at that. 1,230 KC. That does look a bit nicer now. Okay, now we just have to kill the Chaos Fanatic with some range gear, and then we can move on to the next task. Diary task, that is. Battle staffs, I'll take it, whatever. Hard diary task done. One dead lava dragon coming right up. Some law runes. What do you mean I don't get a visage? There we go, burying the bones, complete another task. Now it's just a spiritual warrior and the chaos elemental. Let's make our way to the chaos elemental next. Alright, the first chaos elemental kill on the account. Again, not lucky. Antidote and anchovy pizza, not something we need. One more task left. There we go, finish him, and that is the hard diary completed. Let's go claim our reward, and let's get a new task. Just like that, didn't take too long at all. Let's once again visit the lesser fanatic right here. I've completed all the hard tasks in my achievement diary, give me my reward. I think the main reward here is that we can teleport to the Fountain of Rune once, although I don't think I'll ever use that really, maybe for some clue scrolls it might be useful. Um, but the nice thing is that we unlock the shortcuts to the Lava Dragon Isle and across the Lava Maze. Especially the maze is pretty nice. We have just about high enough agility to boost plus 5 with a Summer Pie to go there for clue scrolls as well. So that'll for sure come in handy. And there we go. We can move on to the next task once again. Wilderness Sword 3. Now before we go to the next task, let's of course use this lamp as well. Pop that onto Herblore again as always. And that's going to be another free 15,000 Herblore XP right there. That's always nice. As a little bonus, we'll take that. Another fairly quick hard task completed right there. The second hard diary on the account after the Karamja one. It didn't quite put us at 60% yet, but let's find out what the next task is going to be. Plenty of diaries left, plenty of other tasks left. Let's not wait too long. Let's generate the next task. It's gonna be... Oh... Okay. A unique from Unsired. I'm okay with that. I'm honestly fine with that. Because we have Ancients. We have 85 Slayer. We basically have everything we need. We just need to get an Abyssal Demon task. And we're good to go. We can do some Sire. And we might get some cool item from that. Uh, another chance at spooning a new boss. So that's always fun. So yeah, let's get it. Let's kill some, uh, some Abyssal Sire. And from this Abyssal Sire, we have a 1 in 100 chance to get an Unsired drop. Now, of course, that won't complete the task straight away because only 5 out of 8 things we can get from the Unsired are considered a unique for this task. The whip is obviously one that we have already and both the pet and the jar are not something we actually go for, but they are just extra things. That means we have to get either a bludgeon piece, which is around a 50% chance from the Unsired, or the dagger, which is about 20% chance, or the abyssal head, which is 7.8%. Let's find out which one we get. Alright, so the goal is to get abyssal demons from my man Duradel here. Do I have those extended? Because if not, I feel like I want to do that first. Uh, which I don't, so I am gonna extend abyssal demons for sure. Use 100 points on that. We still have 718 points. Uh, we currently have gargoyles. 21 of them. I know I could finish it real quick, but I feel like that would go against, you know, the idea. So I'm just gonna cancel this. And let's see how long it takes to get Abyssal Demons. If we have enough points for that, hopefully. I feel like we should. I feel like we have a decent chance to get it without having tutorial boost. Let's give it a go. Ooh, that hurts. That hurts. I can't go do it, guys. I can't go do it. Oh shit, I forgot to disable Lizardman. Damn it. I knew I forgot something. Thank you. 244, that's a fat one as well. <laughs> Let's get it. Let's do some Sire. I'm not sure how this will go, but <laughs> I feel like I'll be able to do it fairly well. We have a Dragon Warhammer. We have the magic level for uh, Shadow Barrage. I feel like we have all the tools we need to get some good kills on this, uh, on this Sire. We'll see how this goes, guys. We'll see how it goes. We've got this set up right now. I don't know if it's going to be very good. I haven't done this in ages, but you know what? Test runs are always the way to go. First kill, unsired. Oh, 
cosmic runes, okay. That's a bit rough though, I feel like I take a lot of damage. Let's just uh, try another kill then. Boom, clean, five rune bars. Um, Probably gonna bang here, yeah. That's not bad, I feel like that kill was a bit better. I think it's just gonna be a matter of like finding my, my spacing correctly and shit. All right, that's three kills on the second trip. Uh, could have definitely gotten four, I think. But I kind of scuffed that kill right there. But it's still good. Still good. Come on, 11 HP, please. Spec him. No. Oh, no. Uh, kill him. Kill him. Unsired? No law runes. <laughs> that was a bit too close for comfort, not gonna lie. Jesus Christ. Uh, that kill went tits up. I guess if we don't hit the Dragon Warmer spec, it's a bit of a rough one, but... I guess that was three kills again, so it's not the worst. Where did my health go there? Oh my god, I got an Unsired on 10 KC. Nah. Nah, 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 nah. Nah, there's... No, no. Oh no. <laughs> I'm just not even gonna milk it. I'm just gonna run straight to the thing and throw it in there. This has to be like a whip. This has to be a whip. I refuse to get something else, no. <laughs> it has to be a whip. I got a bludgeon piece, I'm done. Oh my fucking god. <laughs> yep. Yep, cock. There it is. <laughs> well, anyways. That's another task done right there. 10 KC for the first and sired unique, the first piece of the bludgeon. One out of three. Let's move on quickly to the next task. We might get another and sired back to back, why not? Oh my god, there's just... I don't know, it's just... yeah. There's no end to the... to the spoon train. There's no end to it. Just a quick one. Get the unsired, unique, done. Completed. 16% hard, on to the next one. Another unsired unique. Oh. Infinity top, alright. Infinity top is okay. We're gonna chill with some MTA this time around. We're gonna chill with some MTA. One of the final two pieces that we need in the heart here. We also still need to get the bottoms. Decent mage XP. I'll take it. I'll take it. We might get 90 magic from this. I'm not too sure. But that's that's a good one. We'll do some relaxing mage training arena in the next episode. Today was another day of spooning and I hope you all enjoyed this episode. Make sure to leave a like if you did and subscribe as we're getting ever so close to 50k subs. I hope you all have a lovely day and I'll talk to you all soon in the next episode. Take care.